What's going on, everybody? It's Kelly, and I've had an eventful last two days. Uh, Thursday, I did a whole, like a whole full day live streaming of uh, Bioshock Infinite. I'm almost done. I'm at the Hand of the Prophet chapter, and then I'm going to be doing the um, uh, the DLCs. But uh, Thursday night, I had to take my wife to the hospital because her sugar was going crazy. If, for those people who don't know, my wife is a type one diabetic. That means she is completely insulin dependent. Her pancreas produces no insulin at all. And she's been that way for about 16 years of her life. So it's always a daily struggle for her to maintain her sugar and stuff like that. And, you know, we do our best not to, you know, have as much sugar and stuff around as possible. We take care of what we need to do with her. And she does a really good job. But lately, um, five days ago, she decided to quit smoking. So I got her one of the vapor pens something like this, the iVape pens. I got one, but I don't have any nicotine in it, and honestly, I don't use it very much. I just, I like the, some of the flavors and stuff like that, and that's about it. But I got her one thinking, yeah, you know what, the taste and all that stuff, and it has the nicotine in it and whatnot, and it should help her quit smoking, right? Sounds like a sound idea. Well, for the last, um, got it for her. Let's call it mm, Sunday, okay? And she had been using it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Thursday. Sunday through Thursday, okay? Um, two days before Thursday, so... God, I have to do... So. It's Tuesday. Her sugar started going crazy, and she didn't really say much to me because we had both been working and didn't see very much of each other very much. And... It was just going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, crazily. So we were like, okay, what's going on? So Thursday, she goes to her other job, and she walks in, and she tests, a, tests her sugar at 500. And we're like, holy crap, what the hell's going on? So we, we t you know, I go pick her up from work, and we start getting some water in her uh, system and whatnot, because, you know, you got to get the water in there. It helps push the sugar out and all that stuff. And... We decided to go up to the hospital and see what's the, you know, what could be the problem. As, but as we're going to the hospital, we're testing her sugar, and, and it's slowly going down. So we get up there, and there, the nurses, we didn't, never, we didn't even make it back there before we discovered what the issue was. This is a really funny issue, honestly. <clears throat> so we get up there, and we're talking to the nurses, and we realize that her... Her e cig has vegetable gluten. What is it? Uh, vegetable gluten? Veg, veg, not gluten. Uh, vegetable uh, glycerin. Vegetable glycerin in it, okay? For those who don't know, vegetable glycerin is what is um, what gel caps are made out of. You know, you get those little gel caps. That's what, veg, that's what, uh, that's what they're made out of. They're vegetable, vegetable glycerin. It's a really good bonding agent and stuff like that. Well, apparently, uh, a lot of type 1 diabetics, vegetable glycerin shoots their sugar up because that's what, you know, it's basically some sort of, it's, I'm not exactly sure the reasoning behind it, but vegetable glycerin will shoot their sugar up. And we come to realize that her vapor pen, one of the ingredients is vegetable glycerin. So the only thing we can figure is as she inhales it, the sugar is is absorbed in through her lungs because it gets absorbed regardless not like a soda would be but it still would get absorbed and right into her bloodstream because that's what happens with the nicotine and all that stuff it gets absorbed into your bloodstream and that was causing her sugar to shoot up and the nurse was like we have no real you know we don't know we can't tell you we know we can't tell you anything because there's no real research on it but if When's the last time you used it? And she had used it at lunch. And then two hours later, roughly, bam, her sugar was high. Makes sense. She hasn't used it for the last two days. And her sugar's fine. So, you know, if it quacks like a duck and it walks like a duck and it looks like a duck, it must be a duck. So this is a really interesting thing. We found out that if you're a type 1 diabetic, probably type 2 at that, probably has the same um, ha uh, effect too, and you're using a, a vape... Uh, one of these, make sure that your mix does not have vegetable glycerin in it because it will mess with your sugar. It's pretty wild. It's cool. 
But it's not cool that her sugar was shot up like that. But it was cool that we discovered something like that. And I t- we told the nurse, tell somebody, dude. Tell tell the doctors. Because we, we literally, in the two hours we were at the hospital, we watched her sugar drop from um, roughly 398 to 265 in two hours. And that's um, that's pretty good. So, and then... The next day, yesterday, I was sick all day yesterday. I was, um, I don't know, man, I i got the bubonic plague, I guess. That's, that's what happens to me every once in a while. And I was just laid out. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink. I, I've actually, uh, probably about last night was the first time I'd eaten anything in 24 hours. I uh, had the pa- like a half a pack of crackers and some Gatorade. But now it's just like I have the constant shits, man. Oh, God, I hate this. The worst part about it, man, you like you can never get out of the bathroom. I hate being sick, but I'm getting, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, you know, I figured I'd make an update video, let you guys know I'm still alive. Sorry I didn't get any content or finish up uh, Bioshock Infinite, but yeah, that's what's going on. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next episode.